G'day, Spoon Guy here again. Um, just doing a follow up, very short video on the last video where I was carving a spoon with the axe, axing it out, and what happened was a rather large chunk came out, and it was a case of should I keep it or should I toss it. So here I've got the finished spoon here now. Just put my seeing eye dog on so I can see if it's in focus on the camera. Remember that it was in here, just to focus up maybe, it was in this part here that the part came out. So what I've done here is to shape that around so that again when it's being held in the hand it fits perfectly and even when you're using it this way it fits perfectly. So that's how that spoon ended up. It's a long way from being a typical spoon, symmetrical, usual sort of a crank, but when it feels in the hand, if you're wanting to use it, it just works. So if you're carving spoons, just remember that really there's no right or wrong. And I've had a number of people pick this spoon up in the last two days and they all just say, yeah, that works, that works well. So there we are. That's a, um, an acacia spoon with what could have been a disastrous chunk coming out of there, but it works.